लेट स्टार्ट विथ एग्जाम्पल नंबर फोर ऑन बेल्ट और रोफ फ्रैक्शन ये भी गो वॉट इज द रेंज ऑफ फोर्स पी पी टू मेंटेन द इक्विलिब्रियम ऑफ वेट डब्ल्यू अज्यूम म्यू इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट वन वेरी वेल सो देर हैपन्स टू बी अ ड्रम ऑन टू विच वी हैव प्लेस अ बेल्ट और कॉर्ड और रोप वट एवर यू कैन से वन एंड ऑफ इट देर इज अ वेट सस्पेंडेड एंड देन ऑन टू द अदर एंड यू गॉट दिस फोर्स पी देर इज नो यूनिक एंसर here you've got to find a range of values what you need to do is you need to split up this question into two parts those two parts are where the impending motion is in the downward direction here and here the impending motion is in the upward direction what i exactly mean to say is we have split up the question into two different cases one is where we want to hold this block w in equilibrium so what would be the force needed okay and in the second case we will apply sufficient force be so that or which is good enough to just lift this weight w upwards okay so when you calculate p for both the cases here you are going to get the minimum value and here you are going to get the maximum value you know the case of hold very well we always go for the natural tendency and as far as natural tendency is concerned the impending motion of this block w will be in the downward direction in that case this this rope or cord will be sl moving slightly in the anti clockwise and it would move but it will have a tendency or motion to impend in the anti clockwise sense always remember wherever you see the arrow head that's the tight side and the other one the tail corresponds to the slack side and in this case if you want to just lift the weight w upwards so this is the impending motion as far as this cord is concerned this is clockwise arrow head corresponds to the tight side whereas the tail corresponds to the slack side okay again tight by slack e raised to mu beta let us apply the funda for this hold case tight by slack w over p equals to e raised to the power mu beta you can clearly see that this is where the angle begins and here the angle ends and is 90 degrees 90 degrees in radians can be written as pi by 2 how 90 multiplied by pi by 180 when you do the math 91 92 is equal to pi over 2 all of you know this stuff i know very well okay that's why i placed it over here solve for p you are going to get the minimum value so a uh, lesser value is required to hold the system in equilibrium but if you want to lift this block or just uh, if you want to make sure that you apply enough force so that the block just lifts in that case a larger amount of force a force of a larger magnitude would be needed so what you need to do is again tight by slack p over w do the math this is the maximum value okay and in between these two values point from point 73 let's see if you keep the value as point 74 point 76 or 1.1 1.2 if you keep these values of p the system will always stay in equilibrium that that means it will maintain this level okay so i have combined both the results and uh, I don't know whether you saw this or not. One sec. Okay, this is one point three six nine, right? Fairly simple. And uh, when you combine both the results, this is exactly um, what you are going to get, right? Any value which falls between point seven three and one point three six nine, the system will stay in equilibrium. Okay, block W is not going to move. I hope all of you have understood this very very nicely. Remember. जब भी रेंज निकालना है वेन एवर यू नीड टू गेट द रेंज ऑलवेज स्प्लिट अप द क्वेश्चन इन टू टू पार्ट्स वन इज द होल केस वेर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द मिनिमम वैल्यू वाइल द अदर इज द जस्ट लिफ्ट द वेट डब्ल्यू और मास एम अपवर्ड्स वेर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू दिस इज हाउ यू कैन मेक योर टास्क इज यर थैंक यू वेरी वेरी मच